guys, Max here. For a few weeks I won't be able to bring you new, new content because I am moving my TV production studio and a workshop to a new location, which is bigger and better so I can bring you a really good and better quality videos. However, I didn't want to leave you without any content for those few weeks that I'll be moving. So I've uh, shot a few videos back in 2016 when I was planning to open the YouTube channel. And that's a few videos that I'll be playing now. So let's look at one of them. All right, guys, so I've got this desoldering station that um, it's got a bit dirty and I'm going to be cleaning the pipes inside and you know refurbing it a little bit on the inside and also we get a chance to see what's inside of it um, so I'm just gonna start with the soldering gun disconnect it from the um, from the platform and uh, I will return in a sec with pulling apart this gun I have already taken the screws out and opened the lid and the spring shot out and disappeared somewhere so I don't know where it is I'll have to find it so let's have a look inside so we've got cheap plastic from China um, so we've got the compressor oh there's another spring that locks it usually when you push it down the spring that shot out was here and it usually pushes it up out and you can remove this glass too full of um, dispose full of junk and throw it out so that spring that was popping this out shot out somewhere and nowhere to be seen so I'll remove this one just so it doesn't suffer the same fate all right so we've got just a standard standard switch here it's all easily pulled apart uh, there's a little down here if you can see right there that's the switch that usually uh, it's got a little spring inside so what happens is if you don't touch this desoldering iron for a while it'll drop the temperature as soon as you take it the spring touches this goes off and the temperature jumps back up so that goes air pipe straight goes to this and that usually goes on to here and to the rest of the gun so now we have a couple of wires. The second one is the cable. It goes through the switch and into the nozzle itself, which is easily removed as well. Well, yeah, there we go. So there's four wires, two for sensor and two for heating element. I'm not going to pull this apart um, just because there's no reason to. And there's probably nothing interesting to see. Um, so that's inside the soldering gun also those filters that come with it they're very very expensive to buy even on ebay i had a look and it's like three filters for five dollars or something some ridiculous that you really don't want you know they go really fast if you're desoldering a lot of stuff so what i usually do i'll figure out the way of material where to get that material and just cut them myself but at the moment what i'm doing is uh, I take this rack that you know comes in a roll for two dollars. You can buy hundred meters or whatever that is. Cut a little square and um, I put it over the top of that filter. Take that. Insert the metal that is meant to be, which is uh, I'll show you in a second what's inside. And put it this way, so as you can see, it actually will absorb most of the solder onto itself. And then you can just replace that little green rag and your filter will be still clean. So inside the glass tube what we have is just glass tube on its own, a spring and a little rubber seal that would go together. So I'll put it together and we'll show you how it all works except I can't find that spring that should. I'll try to find the spring before I'll sh put it together but maybe I won't. Um, all right so we'll I'll be back in a second once I reassemble this gun and then we'll go to the base of it all right so I have reassembled the gun um, that's what it looks like usually you would uh, press that button and that would shoot back out I'll show you again so you'd press that and that would shoot back but the spring is gone now so it has left the building completely so I'll have to deal without it um, doesn't really matter. I'm not, not too fast to pull it by hand. Um, 
So now that thing, uh, the glass tube that is easily emptied after it gets a little bit full. Uh, it's not actually that easy as it seems, but um, it does take a couple of minutes. So anyway, so apply that thing, take the rubber, or take the um, rag towards the inside. I usually make sure the corners matching those cutouts. So it looks like this. And then you simply pop it in there. Oh, discharge that. Pop it in there. Usually, yeah, that, that way. Into the tube, and then you push this until it clicks. And um, that's what it looks like inside. It's all locked in, so now you can start desoldering. I have a new tip on it, that's why there's no hole through. But the tips can be easily replaced as well. So don't screw it up. For some reason, there's a there's a tip. There's another sleeve. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, sleeve tip. It comes with the three tips of different sizes: small, medium, and large. This is medium, and then you got your typical retaining ring that goes over the top. And you screw it all together. The other good thing, it is grounded. You can see the grounding wire inside. Um, all right, so that's that's it for the soldering gun. Now, um, so it comes with a little thing sponge that you usually wet. A lot of people don't know that you're supposed to wet them, and they use it when it's dry. But you wet it in water, and then you place it here. Also, come with this holder that you um side. Um, it, it is however when you're working because of the vibration that makes noise. It's quite annoying. Um, so now I'm going to pull this apart and look what's inside and clean it as well. There's a filter that goes, um, get all this out, it goes into here and sorry into here um, and yeah, you don't really need to um, use the same technique as I use for the other one with the green rag because this stuff has already comes filtered, so that filter barely gets dirty. Um, so you got the switch, you got the display. All right, let's um, give me a sec, I'll just unscrew the screws and let's hope there's no springs that are going to shoot everywhere. And All right, so I've taken all the screws out. It turns out that thing, which is very actually handy, um, the side stand is easily clipped on and slid onto there. So if you do want it separate, you can take it off and have it sitting separately. However, it's not really stable at all. I wouldn't say it's stable. Uh, anyway, let's um, take the top. I might have to zoom out a bit. And what we have in here is your uh, power supply. Looks very modular. So we've got power supply. We've got two boards inside. Can I disconnect that? No. Actually, it's, it's like two power supplies for some reason. Excuse the cigarette. So we have one power supply two power supply which is I think it's a converter of some sort two boards inside uh, one for the buttons as you see there and the main computer we've got a stand motor is a pump and I assume the pump is inside so I am going to take the front panel alright so I've finally done it so got that filter out which does uh, seem to have dirt inside of it um, so I've cleaned the tube already so I'm gonna clean that hook the tube back on put it together we have now seen what's inside of it and it's run by just a motor which is good. I swear to god there's just parts stuck inside <laughs> what I, I stopped 
stuck my cigarette in the side of my face. Look, I stuck it to my face and it was like hanging over. Alright, so I'll just explain what's actually happening here. So, Reve is doing this black mask um, thing uh, right there. <laughs> yes, so, um, and smoking. Don't smoke and use cosmetics. This is why there's a warning. You get cigarettes stuck in your face. Uh, I have to shoot. Yes. <laughs> this is why you can't be smoking while you're doing cosmetics. I forgot what I was doing. Because then you have cigarettes stuck to your face who else would know? Who knows what else can get stuck there? Mm. Imagine doing that during sex. Oh, your face gets stuck. Y imagine if you had a ball sack, <laughs> <laughs> and then you're trying to peel it off. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Instant wax. Oh. Can't give it to your face. <laughs> just got all the hairs on it. <laughs> I went werewolf overnight. Sorry, sorry, I totally, I had a moment there and I distracted you from what you were doing, the important. That's okay. <laughs> but I've never had a cigarette stuck on my face before. <laughs> this is a new experience. Uh, yes. Alright, so I'm going to put that back on. Smoking is bad for your health. <laughs> yes. Now what are the hook this back up and put it together so I'm gonna pause while I'm putting this together so it's not boring and um, where is this I swear in a factory because the motor is magnetized there must be some parts that just got magnetized to this because this nut is not missing from anywhere at all well, actually it is I'm wrong it's missing from, from here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say does that it looks like it needs a nut in there <laughs> <laughs> well Mystery solved! Yes. All right. Moving uh, along. Yes, so I will put it together and I'll return. <laughs> Alright, so I've assembled it back. Um, I've put a filter in, so we're going to put that little screw in converter. Turn it on. Let's go 400. 400 degrees. Now let's try the um, suck up. Sucks well. Plug the tube in. Let's reach the temperature. Let's see. So by the way, the end got cleaned. Um, let's try and grab the circuit board that I haven't been there. Uh, it's got a thing diode on it, so we'll try desoldering that. And perfect, as you see. Let me zoom it in for you. All right, so. Uh, we're going to be desoldering this part. Yep, perfect. Easily removed diode. So now you know what's inside the desoldering station. Hippo, you can uh, zoom that out. There we go. You can buy those from eBay. Um, but yeah.